How's it going everybody? I'm Driftwood. This is going to be an Amper Music tutorial. So, what is Amper Music? Is this a game development tool? Absolutely yes it is. Because when you're making your video games, you're going to need some custom music instead of using uh, the same royalty free tracks that everybody else is using as well as, you know, like the built-in stuff or even, you know, don't use copyright music, right? Um, but this is going to create some some decent sounding music. Uh, it's great for making battle music for a, a lot of different themes in the game. Now this piece of software is still in beta. It's not actually uh, released yet, uh, which is good because I have a feeling that it's going to be like a subscription service or like a, a fee per download thing eventually, maybe if they get it worked out to be so awesome. Right now it's got a lot of functionality, but it, you know, I kind of wish there would be more to it. But um, it's still, as it sits, a really great uh, game development application. Now, why is this related to game development? Just because your game needs music. But this is just a basic uh, artificial intelligence music composer. You don't really need any knowledge on how to make music to do this. And this is why it's so good. Um, so basically, I'll put a link in the description below, ampermusic.com. And uh, you come down to this website, click on Create Music. And uh, it'll load up any, it'll ask you to log in, which is a very easy process. Just log in um, and then click on create a new project. Would you like to use Simple or Pro? Click on Pro because it's not that complicated. Now we have to think about how long of a song do we want? Do you want a one minute song? Well, you just go to where you see one minute and you click right there. It's going to drag this out to one minute. And then what you can do is sort of extend left click and drag the ending so you can have like a fading out ending or you can get rid of it completely by going to the right we're gonna give like a few seconds of a uh, fade out ending right there and we're gonna actually make this a, a 30 second piece so that we can render it quickly and stuff but basically what you're gonna do is you see on the left top left hand side that you'll have uh, edit selected region it looks like a little mixer board if you don't see it yet make sure you click on uh, you know somewhere right here to make sure that it's showing uh, you're giving a duration right and at the bottom left you're gonna see something uh, whatever it's currently set to mine's currently set to happy classic rock now there's some presets and these moods are gonna determine um, what it sounds like basically and the AI that it's using to put together a chord progression and the synth and everything so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna edit selected region and you could either uh, go through right here and select a mood or you can randomize everything, but I recommend selecting a mood and then randomizing everything else. So let's go to, say, somatic, cinematic. Now, once you select your style, you, you got, you've got to pick your mood. So each one of these is going to render a different, uh, like, it's going to use different uh, chord progressions. So this is going to be the main thing that, that determines what the sound is going to sound like. So you want to manually select your, your mood and style every time. So I went to cinematic, and let's go with, like, some uh, epic percussion. Let's say we're going to make some battle music, right? Some, some, some drums for our battle, uh, uh, our, our battle background music. So we've selected that, and now we can continue and select the instrumentation. By clicking change band, we can um, say a small band, medium band, large band, click all kinds of different stuff to like get some presets. Uh, or you can click on those things themselves and switch them out. Like, no, I don't want the Chinese, the epic uh, toms for right there. We want the epic taiko right there. And it'll add it and you can remove stuff and change it all you want like that. Now, I while this is really cool, I would recommend you don't even mess with this. Let's keep it even some more simpler. I just want to show you some of the stuff you can do. So then you need to select your tempo. Now, um, tempo just means how fast the song goes. So if you watch a clock go tick, 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 that's 60 beats per minute. So if you use a clock, you can kind of determine you know, how fast. But there's also other places uh, on the internet you can just type in tap tempo and then it, you'll get a button and you click how fast you want the beat to go and it'll tell you what tempo that is. So you can select this manually or uh, randomize it. Um, I'll, we'll put it at 140 but then we're going to randomize it anyway. Then you select the duration right here but you don't have to because we could just left click anywhere right here to select the duration, right? So once you've got all that set up, we're going to hit save. You'll see that it changed to epic percussion cinema right there. Um, now what we want to do is select click to render once you've got everything set up right. <laughs> okay, once it's done rendering, you're going to see some audio right here. So then we can play this audio.
you get this little 30 second clip of some epic percussions. Maybe that's not what you want, right? You think, okay, oh, that sounds alright or whatever, but I, I don't want it, I don't, or I don't like that song. All you have to do is click on this little rewrite selected region button. Now we're going to say rewrite all. It's going to select everything, and then you hit save. Now we, after that happens, we click on click to render again. And the longer the, the file is, or the longer, see it's 30 seconds, it goes pretty quickly. Um, we'll just take this back to the beginning and click on play. So I can see that tempo has changed, some of the instruments were changed, and it's slightly different. But basically, you repeat this process. Um, you get whatever, I recommend like two, two and a half minutes to three minute durations with a little ending so it's easier to loop. Um, but basically you can rewrite all this over and over, click on render, and this is going to give you uh, a quick way to just put together all these random things and you're, you're not going to spend like five minutes trying to make a, uh, pick your, your instruments and then it doesn't sound like you want. This one sounds much different. This one sounds pretty cool. Actually, I want to keep this one, this little 30 second battle intro thing. And we'll also see towards we get to the ending that it'll kind of fade it out and change how it displays. You can see a ding da da boom and then it kind of goes quiet. So it gives you as long of an ending as you want there. Okay, say you've messed around with it and you've selected uh, different settings and everything. What do you do then? Well, you could actually add other stuff to it. You can add a video to it. Uh, and use this as an editor as well, which is pretty cool, but we're not going to do that in this We're just going to use this for a music creation tool for our games So what we need to do is click on export amper music So we're going to click on that and then it's going to ask you Do you want to download the mp3 file or the wave file now the mp3 file is going to be Depending on the size it's going to be a few megabytes right from 1 to maybe 10 if it's a really long track Megabytes the wave file is going to be approximately 10 times that size so it's going to be about 10 megabytes all the way up to like 100 or several hundred megabytes. So if you want, uh, also the WAV file will be a higher quality, but you will also have to convert this to uh, .ogg or .m4a. Um, and there are also online converters. Just go to Google, type in audio conversion or, you know, audio converter, uh, free audio converter. That's a good keyword uh, setup that'll get you. Um, there's a bunch of them. You can convert audio to, from one form to almost any other form now for free. So if you were making uh, like a, a whole collection of these to kind of make like a soundtrack to your game, you want to get the wave and the MP3. Just download the wave and then click on download the MP3. Um, let's get uh, the wave file for this one and let that download. Eight megabytes for that 30 second. That's not bad at all. This should be like one megabyte probably. Downloading this. Have your work featured? Oh, okay, no, we don't need to do that. You'll get some messages that uh, fall over this software because it's in beta and they're trying to get more people aware about it. So I'm helping you, uh, helping you guys. Uh, like I said, you might want to take advantage of this uh, website because it might become a cost to download your, your productions in the future. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know their business model. Right now, it's absolutely free in the beta. So you should definitely take advantage of this. Let's render one more track. So say you've got that one, right? And you keep rendering, but they all keep sounding the same. Well, make sure you go to your, your mood and style by, you see what I did there? I clicked on these three buttons right here, the edit selected region, click on the mood and style, and then select a different style. Now, this is all in cinematic. Now, remember, we can go back and select modern, uh, modern folk, classic rock, 90s pop, and, and change the style up. Hopefully, uh, I, I know they will in the future, they'll add a bunch more styles. And then you can go uh, sub, you know, the, the, the mood of, the, of that style. Um, right now, the cinematic uh, style is sort of my favorite because it's got some of the best, uh, like, AI, or, you know, uh, chord progressions and just some of the best uh, samples in here. Let's go with, like, um, one more. Uh, we, we did epic percussion. Let's do uh, epic driving. I don't know what that'll do, right? We're not going to mess with the rest of them because we're, let's, we're just going to autom uh, automatically. So we're going to hit save, and we're going to rewrite everything right here. Say rewrite all that. So it's picking random, uh, everything random. Tempo is going to be random. Uh, all your settings that you'll see, it, it changed all these, except for like maybe the duration or something, um, because you can select that manually here. Uh, then we click to render after we randomized it up again. We picked a different mood, a different style. 
um, this is going to uh, generate another type of, of music. This one might have uh, more instruments in it instead of just percussion, like because we picked a percussion song. So we'll go back to the beginning, we'll hit play. Right, so this one, pretty cool. Not something that I'd want to put because it sounds too distorted. So what I would do is I would just rewrite this, rewrite all, save that, and then we would just re-render it like that. And then keep doing that until you get something that sounds good, export it, save, simple as, as, as you can do, right? Ha music creation for your game has never been this easy. Using, I don't know if it's some neural network or how, are they, how they're setting up their AI, but um, I will see how I changed the this little bar. It wants me to re-render to change those uh, settings, but um, I still want to play the previous one. Really, you could spend a few hours here and on this this website and get a ton of music for your game that sounds pretty decent. And I expect this software to improve over the years and maybe eventually cost something to use, but it's in beta right now. Guys, take advantage of this. That's gonna do it for this quick tutorial on how to use Amper Music as a game development tool uh, to, get, to, to build a, a good soundtrack for your games. Hopefully, I can hear some of this stuff in the games that you guys send me in the future instead of the default theme six, because uh, I'll just probably kill myself. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Um, I've got RPG Maker MV Tutorials, Game Maker Studio 2, Two tutorials. I've got a first impression videos. Uh, I do tutorials on anything game dev related, basically, and I play classic JRPGs and games that interest me, and probably like a couple of mobile games like Record Keeper every now and then. And but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You guys are super important to me, and you really keep you guys you guys keep me alive, you keep me doing this. So I really really appreciate you guys and. Uh, I can never say that enough. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.